I'm taking you straight to your local Wache joint today, especially since the weekend is here already. Yes, so Sister Lucy, open your mouth for the first bite. I hope you enjoyed that bite. Let's dive right in. I'll be starting off with the tomato stew. I'm making a lot of stew and since that takes the most time, we'll begin with that. All right guys, so to start this, I'm going to season it. I'm using beef and goat's meat. I'll add some salt. You want to um, salt it well so we don't have to add too much seasoning. I have here green seasoning, which I will link in the description, um, in the comment section. And I have two bay leaves and some thyme, blended onion, garlic, ginger, and fennel seeds. Okay. And I'm going to leave some so I'll use it for the stew. I will allow it to cook for about 10 minutes to render or release its own juices. This is our meat. It's been cooking for about 10 minutes and as you can see, it's released some juices. I have here some cowhide which are parable for about 10 minutes. So I'll add that in here. Add some hot water so I can have some stock for the stew and give this a stir you also want to taste for your salt to make sure that you have your salt is enough i'll add half of a mag tablet Cover it and allow this to boil for about 20 minutes. All right, guys, our um, meat is nice and tender, so I'm going to strain this and heat up some oil, and we'll start frying. Well, yeah, and then we'll start frying. If you wish not to fry your meat, you for a healthier alternative, you can air fry or bake it. The onion in there adds flavor to your protein. I like to also go in with rosemary when I have it available, but today I didn't have any. So we're going to fry this until it's nice and golden brown. We don't want it to be too hard. We still want it to be nice and chew, uh, delicious and chewy, okay? So our first batch is done. I'll remove it out of the oil and we'll continue frying until we are done. Our frying process is done, so we'll now start with our stew. I'll go in with one large sliced onion. And allow this to fry until it's nice and golden brown. We're going to add in our blended ingredients. I have here the onion which I fried the meat with. If you're new here, my name is Gifty, a warm and pleasant welcome to you. Thank you so much for joining the family over here as we grow and share delicious, easy, simple recipes. So we'll fry this until the moisture is evaporated, then we'll move on. Now I'm going to add in my spices. I have here a tablespoon of curry powder, a tablespoon of paprika, this is regular paprika, and two bay leaves. So we'll stir that in for about 30 seconds. About a minute already. So next I'm going to add in a cup of tomato paste. Oh, careful. And this is frozen. So at this point I'm going to lower the heat and allow this to fry for about 15 minutes and you want to stir it in until it incorporates well together so when frying your tomato paste you want to lower your heat and allow it to uh, fry nice and slow this will enhance the flavor of your stew your stew will get nice dark and rich very very delicious and also it will take out that tomato taste flavor like the canned taste flavor 
So now we'll add in some shrimp powder, a pinch of salt to taste and give this a stir. The aroma is intoxicating already. If you're new to cooking or a youth learning how to cook, remember we are building flavors here. So you don't want to rush your food, cook at a moderate heat and this will really like add a lot, a lot of flavor to your food. I just added in some cooked down tomatoes. If you don't, if tomatoes are pricey right now, because which they are, you can also use, do a mixture of tomatoes and bell peppers, okay? But this is cooked down tomatoes, um, which is going to shorten our cooking process or our frying process of the stew. Mix everything in until incorporated. Then I'm going to also add in my meat stock, which will add a lot of flavor to the stew as well. Give everything a mix, cover and allow your stew to fry. Cook at a moderate heat. You don't want to crank up the heat because then your stew will burn. Whilst the stew fries, let's go ahead and make that soft mouton, kind of texture watchy. Let's go. So in the pot, I have seven and a half cups of water. I have my sorghum leaves, I've washed it. You want to wash it so you don't get any um, foreign bacteria in there. I'm also going to add in the rest of my baking soda. That's all I have. We'll cover this and bring it to a boil and then we'll add in the beans. So now I'm going to add in the beans and allow this to go, time it, and allow it to go for about 20 minutes. And we'll go ahead and check on our stew, yes. This is how our stew looks. It looks amazing and smells delicious. Mm, absolutely delicious. So give this a stir and you want to be careful because this part of making tomato stew, mm, 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 where it's splattering, it's popping and all of that. Yeah, so you want to be very, very careful. All right guys, so now I'll add some basil in here and I'll add a bit of salt. I tasted it and it still needs some salt. Give this a stir and allow it to fry for about 10 more minutes and I'll scoop some of the oil and scoop some of the stew off as well. All right guys, so it's been about 20 minutes. All right, okay, I'll be fine. So now I'm going to fish out the sorghum leaf You can also choose to leave it in. I'm going to get it out today. And you can reuse this, okay? So now I'm going to add in the washed rice. I'm using jasmine rice. And to all our returning subscribers, thank you so much for coming back. I really appreciate you coming back every time to watch my videos again. Thank you so much. If you've watched until now, I want to appreciate you for sticking around till now to support your girl. Thank you and I appreciate you so much. So at this point, I'll add some salt. Remember initially when you're cooking your beans, you don't want to add any salt as it, as it prolongs the cooking process of your beans. Okay, so I just added some salt to taste. I'll also add um, a little bit of oil. I'm using coconut oil here and this will give you that authentic, delicious, watchy flavor. If you've not liked the video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up as this helps the channel to grow and also to get our videos in front of more people. Everything is good, cover and allow it to cook until the moisture evaporates. Back to check on our stew, I have scooped some of the stew and also decanted the oil so I'm just adding in grated, uh, grated nutmeg, a little bit of curry powder and some dry rosemary. I love the flavor that the uh, dry rosemary adds to the tomato stew towards the end of frying, okay? It's, it, it elevates your food, okay? So at this point, I'll go in with my protein. We're almost done. First, I'll go in with the wele or pomo or cowhide, whatever you call it, yeah. Then we'll add in the um, the meat as well. I also have some fish frying. I'm, I told you I'm taking you to your local watcher joints where you'll be enjoying everything with me. So give this a stir, then we'll cover it 
and you also want to taste to make sure that all your seasonings are on point then you cover it and um, allow it to fry on a low heat or simmer on a low heat for everything to enter for everything to marry together all right guys so this is how our watch it looks i'm going to stir this paper and on the low heat we'll allow this to go for about 15 minutes thereabouts and they'll be ready and to finish it off and add some freshness I have here some red bell pepper some red onions we'll mix that in Coming back to check on the wache, it's nicely cooked, very soft, just like I like it. So in the comment section, let me know how you like your wache. Do you like it single grained or soft that comes together? Do you like equal proportion of wache and beans or you like more rice to beans or more beans to, ri to rice? Let me know. So soft, ah, perfect wache. Watch it, it's ready, cover and set aside. Let's finish off our seeds. And we're now adding our scallions. And guys, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, our stew is done. So we'll turn out the heat. Everything is done. So stew, check. Fried fish, check. Watch it, check. Eggs, check. Fried plantain, check. Everything is ready. Let's assemble this and eat. If you haven't given me a thumbs up yet, what are you waiting for? Please give me a thumbs up so it can help the page or the, um, the channel grow. And also to empower the young adults and youth to do more home cooking because food is expensive. They can't be spending their money outside. If you also want just the watch it or stew recipe, I have it here. I'll link it down below. Hey, watch it right. We're doing a little ham pound. Your mommy fish back home. Yeah, Talia. Talia, two seeds. I'm going to Yes, salad. Hmm. I'm Here's your first bite. Thank you. 
and a watch you run. We do any nay de pano. We do any nay they say no, Edriani, ne quod a yer dan cassa. Be bea edda so pepe 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 pepe. We do ever catch him in now for me catching me boosting a phone in a no ma be or ma be tied the annual ha or hands to your kama kama kama. Wa she will lay no memory motun say a be bea than you quen edda fem kama. Well, thank you so much for doing this with me and I hope you liked this video, you shared this video and you commented on this video. And until we meet again, I appreciate your presence. Until we meet again, stay blessed, stay out of trouble and be well. Bye y'all.